Before we hop into the video, I just wanted to share some news with everyone out there who likes to collect horror movies or is trying to build their horror collection. Horror Pack is a monthly subscription service that sends out a box to all their subscribers containing four horror movies at random. They send out a box every month to everyone that subscribes to them, including four horror movies at random inside of the box. So if you want to select Blu-ray or DVD format, they do have those options as well. Those are the two options you have available to you. They have different subscription plans you can choose from. So whether you want to stay subscribed for a month, three months, six months, or a year, they have different pricing options for each format. They have the pricing options for the DVDs and the pricing options for the Blu-ray format as well. I will leave a link to that website down in the description of this video. And if you do decide to become a subscriber to them, you can get $3 off your first horror pack box by using the code it follows. Again, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the website. And if you decide to describe to horror pack and build your horror collection, you can get $3 off of your first box using the code it follows. With that in mind, let's get into the video. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. This is going to be my video explaining why I think fans and critics alike have a bit of a divide when it comes to hereditary. More so with the fans. The critics seem to be more on the positive side and giving it critical acclaim. Whereas the fans are kind of split down the middle 50-50 and what they think about the film. Now if you're familiar or if you've seen Hereditary, then you know we've seen this in the past with other movies from A24 such as The Witch... We've seen it with, this isn't an A24 movie, but we had the same thing with the Babadook. And if I'm not mistaken, there was an Australian movie that came out that's, that reminds me of Hereditary and what it's trying to do. Uh, Good Night Mommy, that came out in 2014. And also The Black Colt's Daughter, which starred Emma Roberts, that came out four years ago. Now, this divide with A24 films, this has been occurring. Oh, and also another film is the... Um, the Autopsy of Jane Doe. If you have not seen that movie, I highly recommend that movie. But let me get back to what I was saying. So with the A24 movies, we've been seeing a big divide as far as what fans think about it. Some people will say their movies suck. Others will say that they are actually really good. Now this divide exists because it goes back to something I've been trying to get across for a very long time when it comes to moviegoers and what fans of the horror genre and movies in general expect when they go into a theater a lot of times or for the most part when people go into a movie they do not want to actually be engaged with what's going on they it seems like because that's what hereditary actually asks you to do they're not giving you everything word for word you have to pay attention to the story being told the story is being told to you through the dialogue there's stuff going on around the characters you have to sit down and actually pay attention and watch the movie that's one of the problems with moviegoers in this movie that's why there's this divide because a lot of people when they go and watch movies they're going in there and they're shutting their brains off they're, sh they're, they're shutting their cell phones off they're shutting all their electronic devices off but they're also shutting off their brain because at the end of the day when you sit down and you say a movie like hereditary doesn't make sense that's not really fair to what's going on 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 the actual screen in front of you because while the movie yes does not explain everything word for word it is telling you what is going on throughout the film from start to finish. Once, once um, the matriarch of the family dies, we start seeing, we start getting hints and we start seeing um, evidence as to what's going on from there. There's, there's clues in the dialogue. There's clues in the, uh, the stuff going on around the characters. Like nothing, nothing is actually being is being said concretely about what is going on. But the, that's what the whole purpose of Hereditary is, is for you to be is for you to be as just as lost as the characters are. You're finding out what's going on right along with them as the movie progresses. So and that's one of the things I actually really liked about Hereditary. The, the fact that I didn't know as much as the care. I knew as much as the characters knew and I was finding out everything they were finding out right at the same time. That's something I really enjoyed about Hereditary. There's plenty of things throughout the film that help you that will help you figure out what is going on that's why this movie has such a high replay value because there's clues there's clues left within the film in the dialogue in the scenery uh, 
characters say certain things. There's symbols in the film that will help you figure out what's going on. It's not, it's not that this movie is hard to figure out. It's just a simple fact that it's not telling the audience what's going on word for word. And that's what the audience has been conditioned to get. Uh, with a lot of the horror movies that come out today, you have your generic cast, you have generic acting, and you have a story that's kind of all over the place and it's full of random sequences, or that, at least that's how the audience perceives it. And then you'll have a character or two at the end who will make sense of it all and they'll regurgitate it word for word in front of the audience to another character. And that's what, that's what the audience has been conditioned to get. Hereditary does not do that. Hereditary tell, Hereditary's narrative plays from start to finish and what the audience has to do is they have to they have to literally be engaged with the characters. They have to actually pay attention to this movie. And that's why I think a lot of people do not like Hereditary because it's expecting them to not come. It's not coming in and assuming that the audience is is because uh, what a lot of horror movies, in my opinion, do. They assume that the audience is dumb. So that's why everything is so laid out and everything's made perfect for the audience to figure out is e it's made easy for the audience to figure out what hereditary is asking the audience to do is pay attention to the story being told pay attention to the characters look look at what's going on around them don't don't forget to pay attention to this don't forget to pay attention to that don't overlook this aspect don't think too much about that aspect everything's being handed to you but it's up to you to figure out and put the whole story together and what I like about that is you can put together a story that makes sense, but at the same time, you still have those questions that Hereditary does not not answer. Because we do not find out everything about what's going on in Hereditary, but there are several things that will help you along the way in this film to figure out what's going on with this family. There's a symbol that shows up several times. There's uh, different images that appear several times. The as there's the uh, there's the scene at the end of the film. Or there's the references between um, Annie, played by Toni Collette, and her um, her daughter. The dialogue between the daughter and the mother. There's the uh, the daughter and the bird chopping the head off. There's a whole bunch of stuff that, that illustrates what's actually going on. You just have to pay attention to what's being shown on screen. Because what a lot of people are doing is they're seeing this stuff and they're just saying... What is going on? None of this makes sense. What what is that? Why is everything why is everything so random? It looks like a lot of randomness because the movie is actually leaving clues along the way. And it's not even that the film is a bunch of random sequences. It's just that that's what people are perceiving it as because they're not being told word for word what's going on. They're not having everything handed to them on a silver platter. That's what the biggest problem is now with horror movies and also there's there's this whole idea that this movie is not a scary movie now the problem with saying that is if that were the case then here me as being um or wanting to be a movie critic if i'm going to sit here and say hereditary isn't a scary movie then i could i would have to say the same thing about the halloween series the freddy krueger series the jason movies scream i would have to say that about pretty much every horror movie i've ever seen because i am not scared of horror films a horror film not scaring you does not make does not mean it is not a horror film that means it did not scare you this is still a scary movie this is still in the horror genre i've never actually watched a scary movie that i've never wanted to watch again because i thoroughly enjoy horror movies they do not scare me but for you to come out and say that a movie is not scary because it does not scare you or because there's no scary elements to it that's not fair to the film because first of all there are scary elements in this movie the the issue is and what the problem a lot of the people online have with this film is the fact that movies today they're just they're just uh covered covered in jump scares every other scene is a jump scare loud noises to cause a reaction from the audience everything looks very dark the mood is dark which is which is fine the problem is that a lot of the jump scares that are used the jump scare tactics they're always cheap they have nothing to do with as far as progressing the story goes the last time i've genuinely seen a movie that effectively used jump scares was the original first two insidious films as well as the original conjuring or the first two conjuring films every other movie that's been coming out they just love to use jump they just love to use jump scares to hide the fact that they're telling a weak narrative on screen and that it doesn't really make a bunch of sense it doesn't really make too much sense at the end of the day but then you're going to have the people who saw the film 
that had those jump scares and they're going to they're going to call the movie good just because it made them jump in their seat 6 to 8 times. Well, yes, well yeah, maybe you did jump 6 to 8 times. And what was the narrative of the film? Did it even make sense? How was the acting? How was the cinematography? How was the soundtrack? How, how was this? How was that? There's a whole bunch there's a whole lot of other elements to a film besides jump scares and that's what I feel the problem was with Hereditary. Because when people say Hereditary wasn't scary from what I've just been reading online and going through the uh, comment section of other videos discussing this topic, people are just saying it wasn't scary because nothing made them jump, nothing made them tremble, nothing made them, uh, nothing. basically nothing got a reaction out of them. Now, while that may have been the case, that does not mean that the movie isn't doing things that's effectively going to trigger a reaction from other people. Because like I was saying before, I do not get afraid of most of the horror films that I watch. I enjoy horror movies. None of them scare me. For, so for me to sit here and say that Hereditary is not a scary film, that is not fair because it is a scary film. It is still in the horror genre. Now, how is Hereditary scary? Hereditary does not rely on jump scares. What Hereditary is doing is it's taking, taking the audience as well as these characters and it's putting them in the same position. The audience, just as much as the characters on screen, do not know what is going on. The narrative on screen being told is very disturbing. The relationship between the family is actually hard to look at sometimes because you can tell that this is a very dysfunctional family after the mother dies, or probably even a little bit before she died. This is a very dysfunctional family. The scenery in the film is a bit disturbing. There's just a lot of elements. There's a whole lot of stuff that goes on at the end of the film. If you've seen Hereditary, you know there's stuff that goes on at the end of the film that's definitely stuff that you would see in a horror film. That's ter It's terrifying imagery imagery throughout. Did it, the imagery terrify me? No. But this is these are things that would be classified as terrifying imagery. This is, this is what I'm talking about. You can't just take yourself and then make that like a reason as to why a movie is not scary just because a movie did not scare you does not mean it is not a scary movie it's the same i've heard the same thing with get out oh get out wasn't a scary movie it was a thriller i want to say get out was a good mix of a horror film with with thriller and comedy but it was predominantly in my opinion horror it was not predominantly comedy there was like one or two sequences in the film that were actually intended to make the audience laugh that is not that is not comedy and like i like i was saying before a movie not making you jump out of your seat does not mean the movie is not scary. It means the movie did not scare you. It means the movie did not have an effective scare or an effective tactic to make you scared. That does not mean the movie wasn't scary or that the movie wasn't good. Hereditary is a movie that is getting a lot of hate and it gets it has that divide because once again, people when they go into movies or a lot of moviegoers nowadays when they buy tickets and they go in to see these movies, they're expecting to have everything handed to them. They've been conditioned to jump scares because pretty much every other horror film that comes out has has jump scares. It's like a marathon of jump scares. Every horror movie that's been coming out, that's PG-13 especially, they're all splattered with jump scares, characters that you don't get invested in, characters that are poorly developed, uh, bad CGI, case in point, the latest Slenderman movie that came out that was atrocious I will be doing a review on that film in the future uh, that's just my honest opinion on the topic hereditary is a film that's getting a lot of flack because it's not doing the things that most horror movies that come out today are doing it's it's relying instead of relying on jump scares and cheap thrills it's relying on the narrative on screen and the unknown of of you being in the unknown just as much as these characters are that's that's what's so effective about hereditary it, it has terrifying imagery and the narrative on screen is actually being is actually scary to hear and is actually being told from a we're actually seeing a story on screen unfold about a family that's being destroyed that's that's what's terrifying because we know as the audience we know the only thing we know is that something is lurking in the shadows with them that's all we get because with everything going on we know something isn't right the family themselves might not know it but it's what's so terrifying about the film is the narrative that's going on on screen the imagery we see and just the connection and the like the relationship between these relatives they 
they don't seem all that well connected. They seem a bit dysfunctional. They, they, they're just not all the way there as a true family unit. That's what's the most scary thing about this movie to me. It's not relying on jump scares. It's just relying on the narrative. Did the movie scare me? No. The movie was a well-done film. Toni Collette definitely deserves an Oscar. If she doesn't get an Oscar, then I would put Alex Wolf up there to also be like a second option for an Oscar. But definitely, Toni Collette was the standout of this film. She was amazing. The directing was good. The cinematography was fine. The score for this film was was amazing as well. Did the story make complete sense? No. That's why there are several rays. That's why this movie has so much replay value because you can come up with different theories about what they give because they're giving you things. They give you things all throughout the movie. You just have to pay attention. So because like if the movie wasn't really giving you anything, then you wouldn't have these people that are trying to explain what's going on in the movie. The movie's giving you things. You just have to pay attention. So that's that's another thing that I was getting at. You, I don't like to say a movie is bad or good if I didn't understand it. Because how can I actually have a valid argument or a valid opinion when I just stated that I didn't even understand what I just saw? From If I'm going to call a movie good or bad, I want to first understand what I just watched. So if I'm confused about what I just watched, I'm not even going to give my official thought on the topic because that's not fair to the film itself. I'm not even... I'm not even 100% sure what was 100% sure what was going on, but now all of a sudden I'm 100% sure if it's good or bad. That's not really fair to the film that I just watched. So what I like to do is I like to watch a movie. If I understand it, then I have an official thought. If I don't understand it, then I won't say anything because that's what a lot of people also did with Hereditary. I saw a lot of people saying that the movie was bad because they were just confused throughout the film well that doesn't mean the movie was bad that means that you were just confused and you missed some things so that's why you couldn't really get into it this has like it has nothing to i like to grade movies on themselves it, i don't like to include myself when i talk about a movie only unless i'm trying to discuss what i do what i did and did not like so for me to sit down and say Hereditary was bad because I was confused in it, if, if that was the case, I wasn't confused at all. But let's just say that was the case. If I was confused while watching Hereditary and I just say, oh, this is bad, don't watch it because it's so confusing, that's not really a, that's not really fair to the film. Neither is that valid because, first of all, I just said I'm confused. So if I'm confused, how can I even know if something was really good or bad? And another thing to consider is just because... Just because the story might have been confusing, or let's say the story was actually confusing and the story was literally bad, that doesn't take away from the performances that were given or the or the cinematography or the score because there's several elements that go into filmmaking. There's several elements, and I just wish more people would consider that when they rate films being good or bad. The movie, you don't even have to call it good or bad. It can simply be all right. I just wish more people would pay attention to what's being shown on screen when they watch movies because that's honestly why Hereditary is getting so much flack. You do not have to like the movie because I've, I've said this before in one of my other videos. I do not like the film Titanic, but for me to sit down and say Titanic is a bad movie, that is not, that's not fair to that film because I've seen, I've seen Titanic at least four times in my lifetime and Titanic, while again, I am not into that genre. It is not a horribly made film. I do not. I, I just get sick and tired of people associating them not liking something to then that meaning that the film was bad. I, I just can't stand that. I, I try to stay away from that as much as possible. I like to be fair when I'm critiquing films. But yeah, those are my thoughts on why I think fans and critics alike are divided when it comes to hereditary and what i think the audience had why i think the audience had a problem with hereditary it all goes back to what i said people just don't pay attention to what they watch on screen that's what it all comes down to uh, i wish we would get more horror movies like hereditary because if we got more horror movies like this and i feel like we would start seeing eventually more of them will start getting more critical acclaim but if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Have you seen Hereditary? Did you like it? Did you not like it? What do you think were the strong points and what do you think were the weak points of the film? Um, in the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I also have a Patreon. So if you would like to donate to help the channel grow, you can do that. The link will be in the description. 
Turn on post notifications so you never miss any of my future videos and comment down below what movies you would like me to review in the future.